Welcome to this tutorial, uh, and this is going to be about creating row and column sums and means and whatever kind of aggregate statistic that you might want to do on a whole data set, or on particular variables in a data set. So as usual, let's set a working directory and uh, clear our uh, working environment. And let's load the empty cars. It's a. Uh, it comes with the uh, basic package of R and write it to. Uh, hmm. Sorry about that. It's just already open. So let me close that. Can't write to the directory if the file is open. Okay. So let's open it in Excel. And this is an, uh, an all numeric data set, okay? Uh, these uh, uh, column names and row names are actually not in, in R, it's uh, not part of the actual data set, so called. So um, if you run uh, uh, a function on all columns, uh, it's not going to regard this as one of the columns, it's going to regard only these. So in Excel, if you want to do something like sum, then that's no problem. Uh, you can do the same for, uh, let's say, average or median or whatever kind of aggregate you might want. Let's do that here as well. All right. And the same thing goes for rows. So let's do average. kick it down. All right, so very simple. Uh, and let's see how we do it in R. So for the basic uh, sum and mean, uh, you have a built-in function in base R called row sums, row means, call sums, and call means. So if you look at empty cars, this is the, uh, the data set. If you do row sums, you simply get a vector with a, uh, su with a, a sum of each and every row, so this would be for Mazda RX-4 and then Mazda RX-4 WAG, and it just sums up all these numbers, which is completely meaningless, but you get the point. And then the same thing for uh, columns, so you get the uh, sum of each and every column, call means, which is more meaningful, so you get you know, 20.1 miles per gallon for uh, as the average for all car models, etc. Now, if you want to do stuff like variance, uh, standard deviation, medians, counts, that sort of thing, then there's no uh, pre prepared or pre prepared uh, function for that. You need to use the apply function. What apply does is it runs either over rows or over columns. So if you pass the one as argument, it runs over the rows. If you pass two as argument, it'll run over the columns. And you tell it what is the data set you want to run rows or columns, and what function you want to run on this row or column. So in the same uh, fashion as before, this would give you uh, a vector of the medians for each row. This would give you a vector of the medians of, of the columns, okay? And, and, and the same thing with standard deviations and length, which is the how long the column is uh, or, or the, the row is. Um, so that's effectively the same as count. Now, what happens when there's a mix of numeric and non-numeric data? Uh, Excel doesn't mind that. Excel is very clever in recognizing when it can't do something and not interfering with your work. So let's first load the data set. We'll uh, use the hitters data set. This is a baseball um, data set about uh, different, uh, different uh, baseball players and their hitting averages. Let's write that to the working directory and open it up. And you see that, uh, first of all, this data set has a little deficiency here. It has a hyphen in, in front of each name, so let's get rid of that quickly. Okay, so most of this is numeric, but then there are some uh, variables here, such as what league, what division, and if they switch league, uh, where they're playing, which are categorical variables. And so if you, uh, if you want to work with this in Excel, that's no problem, right? Uh, 
it'll simply throw a zero and will not inter interfere with your work in any way. Now what happens in R or any other programming language? What's going to happen is if you try to do a call sums on this or a row sum, you'll get an error. Okay, it says X must be numeric. And so there are a few ways to deal with it. One, you can use the uh, filter method and you pass is numeric as an argument to it uh, for the hitters um, data set. And what this does is basically return, return a uh, uh, only the, the numeric columns here. And then you run a call sums on that and you get what you need. Now, another thing uh, that uh, you'll notice is that for salaries, because there are some NAs within the data set, you're getting nothing because when you sum uh, or you do anything in R which involves NAs, you're going to get an NA as a result. So you need to filter out the NAs or uh, replace them with zeros or whatever you select to do. So the easiest way to do that is simply to pass the NA.RM or NA remove argument to the call sums. And it'll give you the sum of the salary as well here. Now, similarly, you can do this with the uh, apply function. So uh, for the rest of the uh, uh, functions such as, or for the rest of the uh, aggregate statistics such as standard deviation or variance or whatever. So uh, you pass the filter is numeric hitters and uh, removing the NAs to, uh, to the apply function, the columns, and then the function that you want to run. And that's going to give you um, the same, essentially the same as, as we saw before with the apply up with the empty cars uh, data set. Now, let's say you need to be more subtle than, you know, taking an axe to, to your data, data set like we did before, which is doing call sums or call means. So again, Excel gives some, some great tools for this. So uh, let's say we turn this to a table. And uh, let's also add a totals row. And then you can select the average for the first one and the count for the second one. And maybe the max and min for whichever comes next, etc., etc. OK, so very easy, very nice. If you want to rep replicate that in R, you, it's very you know, it's very uh, cumbersome to do it with base R. Uh, the deep layer package gives you some some nice uh, advantages for this. So let's have a look at what this looks like. With uh, deep layer, remember we use the um, you, you select your data set or your data frame, and then you use the pipe operator, and everything which comes after that gets passed on to the next uh, next row. So empty cars. And then summarize all with a mean function. So that gives you a, uh, the mean of each and every column. Okay. Now, if you want to, uh, let's say you want to revisit your code and you, you want to remember what you did uh, and read it easily, then by adding a uh, name to inside the, 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 the funds uh, function, uh, it's just going to add this to uh, to the original name of the column, and you're going to have MPG average, cylinder average, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Now, what happens when you load a non all, a, a data set which is not all numeric, like hitters? So it's going to throw an error, just like it did in base R. Okay. So instead of doing summarize all, you can do a more selective. Uh, summarize, which is just summarize, and then you tell it what you want to summarize. Okay, we want to summarize at bat, hits, and salary while discarding the NAs. So it's going to give you um, those uh, those items. And notice that the names are not very uh, useful or, or not very uh, necessarily uh, uh, neat to look at. So you can uh, also rename by uh, specifying what uh, what name you want to give each of these um, each of these uh, results and then you just have mean at bats uh, sum of hits and uh, median of salary and notice that in this option here I also selected to do different uh, aggregate statistics for each uh, each of these uh, variables another useful trick 
uh, can be uh, to um, conditionally sum or you know, do whatever uh, we want over the columns, just like we did in uh, in base R, is to give it a condition of only do it on numerics. So you pass the is numeric, the function, and uh, again remove the the NAs, and so it gives us the uh, um, the means of all the numeric columns without having to specify them each one by one. And again, if we want to rename, then we need to use the funds function and tell it what we want to uh, uh, to add to the original column name. And then we have hits average, at bad average, etc. So that's it about uh, column sums and uh, different aggregate statistics for columns and rows. I hope it was clear. And uh, if not, uh, kindly add some uh, comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching.